Channel 5, KSDK, St. Louis. And now, Channel 5 Eyewitness News Weekend Report. That airport will drive a stake right through the center of Bridgeton. Bridgeton will end up looking like Bridgeton Terrace, a city it was. Neighbors are upset with the expansion of Lambert Airport in their direction. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Blome, sitting in for Rick Edland. Well, there is shock and anger in Bridgeton tonight among residents who now find their homes in the path of airport expansion. The planned expansion to the northwest was announced yesterday, and already people in Bridgeton are talking about ways to fight it. Channel 5's Jeff Fowler is in the newsroom with more on this story. Jeff? Jennifer, officials have narrowed down their choices for airport expansion to four plans. What the people of Bridgeton don't like is that all of them run through their city, and already some residents there are vowing to fight for their town. Will uh, it be better to try and sell your home now, or will it be better to try and wait and hope that we're going to be in the buyout? That's the question that everybody's asking. This morning, Bridgeton City Hall was filled with residents wanting to know about their homes, their neighborhoods, and property values. They're going to worry about the noise here, here, and here. The plans were unveiled yesterday and touted as the most economical and least disruptive way to expand. New runways are needed to handle the estimated 20 million people a year who will use Lambert by 2010. But the people of Bridgeton are worried about neighborhoods like this that would be lost to expansion. The city of St. Louis is acting like a juggernaut. They're saying we can do anything we want, anywhere we want. It doesn't affect us, but we don't care. The airport promised all along that the airport neighbors would be involved in this process, and we were not involved. We were left out, and we uh, personally hold Vincent Shamel uh, responsible. The city has bought up parts of towns before. This is Bridgeton Terrace, a boarded-up ghost town bordering the airport. There is a very real fear today that Bridgeton will end up looking like Bridgeton Terrace, that by the time the plans are finalized, it will not be several hundred homes that have to be bought out, but several thousand. The runways themselves are just a part of it, but when you change the runways, you change the flight patterns, other communities will feel an impact. Right now, city officials say they haven't been given enough information to know what course of action to take. But already a number of citizens are discussing an organized effort to fight the expansion through the courts, Jennifer. Okay, thank you very much, Jeff. A man who is a for expanding the airport's runways. Each of the four plans now zeroes in on property to the northwest of the airport, and the people who live there are not happy. News 4's Eric Thomas has more. Previously, Lambert Airport expansion plans targeted communities south of Interstate 70, cities such as Woodson Terrace and Edmondson. But the mayor of Woodson Terrace says his constituents are pleased with the new expansion plans. But the ones I have talked to have been very relieved. Uh, with the fact that uh, their homes at least are going to be saved. However, the city of Bridgeton to the northwest of the airport would not be so lucky. In a meeting jammed by a hundred residents today, city officials explain why they thought each of the four options would negatively impact the city, either by claiming large chunks of valuable land or by increasing air traffic and jet noise. None of these options are good for the city of Bridgeton. In fact, I don't know if these options are good for any of the surrounding, by surrounding, I mean immediate adjoining neighborhoods. The Carrollton Oak subdivision is the neighborhood Bridgeton officials believe to be most at risk from the airport expansion plan. Now, airport officials have said only a few hundred homes at most might have to be torn down to make way for the runways, but Bridgeton officials believe eventually the whole 1,800 home neighborhood might be gone. I was hoping I would never have to move from here. I wanted to spend the rest of my life here, really. We've raised our family here. Airport officials stress that these are just ideas and that one option would barely affect Bridgeton homes at all, primarily by making use of land already owned by the airport. But city officials see no way that hundreds of their residents won't be displaced. And although those officials are gearing up for a fight, they know they'll have their work cut out. The airport is sort of like um fighting a big fire-breathing uh, uh, dragon that just seems to want more and more and more and it never seems to get enough. And uh, people get tired fighting at the airport. Many people have tried and uh, they just, uh, they can outlast you. Bridgeton officials say they realize that any firm decision is years away. And although they stop short of threatening a lawsuit, they promise to do what they must to protect their community. Eric Thomas, News 4, 
St. Louis. The expansion plans are aimed at dealing with the 20 million passengers expected to pass through Lambert each year in the 21st century. Currently, about 10 million passengers a year travel through the airport.